Hello, long rodders. Do you want to learn how to tie a suspended tail fly on a little tight small hook? Man, we're going to teach you today on this video. And we're going to get to the vise right now. Before we get to the vise, I want to let, tell everybody there's a list of materials we used down below in the description of this video and a link below where you can buy all the materials we used in this video. Now back to the vise. We are going to debarb the hook like we always do. And then we're going to use 70 denier black thread. And we're only going to go about halfway back to hook shank. In this video, I used a size 18 so you could see the video. If I tie on the size 22, you can never, I can't get the video. It looks very bad. So I tied on the size 18 so you can see the video. But I did this on the size 22 when I tied mine. But so basically, all you want to do is go about half. You go a little bit more if you when you're on the smaller hook. And then we're going to hit it up with some head cement and let that dry. I use these wings. Uh, I got it at the show. You can see here. Just look them up on the internet. You can buy them. I don't get nothing from these company. I just really cool guy that made them, and I thought I'd plug him a little bit here. So you can go on, look him up on the internet, and buy his wings. But you can use any floating uh, white or black or whatever color you choose. There, you can use uh, floating yarn. Uh, if you're using the yarn, you only want about maybe a quarter of the a single strand of yarn. Because you're tying them very small, you don't need much. And you're gonna tie this in. So I took some of this braided stuff you see in the picture. Then I heated up the end so it's not fray, and it would make a very cool pointy tip to the the stuff and then I tied that in and that is your suspended tail now I used uh, it's like flashy and it's got like sparkle to it you could use plain black um, or maybe you have an idea of another material this is just what I decided to use in this fly And I make the tail just a little bit longer than the amount of thread I put on the hook to start the fly. You know, I let to the where I stop the thread just a hair teeny larger than that. And like I said, we tie that in. Now we're gonna build that body up so there's a smooth ramp and the tail. I'm going to do that. Now we're going to tie in some grizzly. I hope you have some small grizzly feathers saved up for this kind of fly. Because you need a really small feather. Make sure it don't go too far past the bend of the hook when you gauge your feather. Tie on your grizzly feather. Tie that in. Now you're going to tie in a peacock. Remember, you want a peacock feather close to the eye of the feather because they're tinier fibers. For small, this uh, fly this small, you want to use them up towards the eye. It's 
Now you tie your peacock in. If you wanted to know, I use the UV peacock. You can buy them at your tying shop or I'll put them down, link down below. Rack the peacock hurl style up to right to your wing. Tie it off and clip off the excess peacock. Grab your hackle pliers, wrap your hackle. You want to kind of wiggle as you're going down through the peacock. You don't want to trap too many peacock fibers down. And then wrap it up to where the wing is. Tie it off. Clip off the excess. Oh man, did you see what happened there? Feather flew out of the hackle pliers. Oh well, rewrap it. Don't get mad. Just redo it. Now you can secure that grizzly feather down. And as you notice, as I'm securing the feather down, I take one thread wrap back into the hackle. Be careful you don't trap any of the hackle fibers down. And that will help make it more secure. Then I go up back up to the wing and secure it down and cut off the waist now you pull the wing back and put some thread wraps in front of it and this is where you're going to tie off the fly so you put some whip finishes it in it try not to crowd the eyelid again but if you do just take your thumb and push the thread back and open that eyelid up and you can put head smell i don't on these small flies i think i put two sets of whip finishes in them i don't Head some them these small. Uh, so that's the end of our fly. It's really cool. I was really excited to bring this to you when I came up with this idea. Now let's take a closer look at the completed fly. Like I said, all these patterns we've been tying lately have been really small. Midges are supposed to be small. You're supposed to tie these in size 22. And I think this is probably some of the problem I have with some of the spring creeks in our area with not having much luck is I got to go a sm lot smaller. Um, I think that that's the end of the midges. So we will now go to another fly. So look forward to seeing them videos. And, uh, Thank you for watching our video. If you, like I said, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And this is the end where I'm going to make it real easy for you to do that. Here's videos from earlier time videos. Here's a video just for you. goes off about what you watch the most. It's just for you. And right here is another chance for you to subscribe. Click that button and subscribe. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.